Welcome to Pixel Composer tutorial. In this video, I will go through the concept of expression. An expression is a way for you to write a code to control your node values or your junction values. So let's begin with some basic node like a number node. Here, when you select the number node, in the inspector, you will see this icon on the right that says use expression. Clicking on it, we just have this expression text box. And this is where you would type in your expression. And the expression here is written in a different language. Not necessarily a programming language. It doesn't have all the programming features, but you can do like variable assignment, array, do some if else statement and some function. And the basic concept is that if you keep executing each line sequentially and the value of the last line will become the final values of that junction. Like for example, if you just type in number, press enter, then it will just return that number. If you type in like expression, then it will just evaluate that expression. Now when you assign a value to a variable, you can do that by just type in your variable name and then assign its value. The assignment of variable will also return that value as well. So you can say value equal 125, you get 125. And if you say then value times two, then it will just return the new value. Expression will allow you to get access of a project Y variable. Like for example, when you type in project, you will see this auto complete. You can press tab and then say dot frame. This will give you the current frame index of your project. Now the frame index here is equal to the index in the animation minus one. So when you change your animation, if you see that it show you the current frame in your project. There are also other variable as well. Another one that important is progress which is similar to frame, but instead of going by frame, it will now the first frame would show up zero and the last frame will be one. You can also do time, which should give you time in second. And this depends on your current frame rate. The next thing you can do is you can send a value inside the expression by you will have another node. This node have value of 10, then you connect it to the values. The result here will be still zero. So we can type in value and the value keyword would return the value that it get from the connection. So you can change your value here. You can do value times two plus 10 or stuff like that. The next topic will be about array. So we have node set up here consists of an image node, send it to a transform node. But before we talk about array, we have to go through the unit in Pixel Composer first. So in some vector two values, vector two being a value that consists of X and Y. And in some vector two values, you will see this icon at the end here, which represent the unit of that values. And there are two types of units. They are fractional unit and they are pixel unit. A fractional unit will depends on the size of your image. So a zero would mean a zero and a one would mean the actual size of the image. In our case, image, our image is 16 by 16. So one here would equal to 16 pixel. So when you convert back to pixel unit by clicking on the unit icon, it will say 16. And for our array tutorial, we will stick at fractional unit. So let's click on use expression. Now, when we talk about scalar value, we would mean a single number or a non-array number. So if you just type in scalar value like one and then press enter, you will see that your image are at array one one. What Pixel Composer does is that it's just gonna expand a scalar into an array. So if you say zero, it's just gonna be zero, zero, 0 0.5. It will become 0 0.5, 0 0.5. But of course, you would want to have more control over each axis. So you can create array by using the square bracket. You can just say square bracket zero, one. Now you are creating array at x0 and y1. You can have a variable like x equals 0, y equal 1, and then the result will be x, y. You can also do array arithmetic just like how you do with number. So you can have v1 equal 0, 1. You can have v2 equal 1, 0. Now at the end here, you can say v1 plus v2. Then it's gonna do member wise calculation. So it's gonna do v1x plus v2x and v1y plus v2y. So the result become 1, 1. You can do v1 times 0 0.5. What you're gonna get here is, you're just gonna time multiply 0 0.5 to each of the member in v1. So it becomes 0 and 0 0.5. And the next thing will be about function. You can also use function in the expression as well. Now there is, I don't think there is an official list of a function yet, but you can do basic trigonometry function like sine, cos, tan. So you can say something like x equal sine project dot progress you can also use some constant like pi just type in pi so here you just make an object rotate around the center in circle there's also a wiggle function so you can use it to generate a wiggle effect also the wiggle have the range between 0 to 1 and now you create a wiggle effect the next topic I would cover is a conditional statement and a for loop. So just like any other programming language, 
you can also add in conditional statement so let's say if the syntax is very similar to stuff like C or C++ plus language and you need to add curly brace every time so let's say if value equal 5 and then we set value equal 0 you don't need semicolon at the end of each statement also don't forget to type in the return values which is in this case our, our variable wow and now we need to set our value which is again represent the value that are connecting to that junction at the moment so this is our code right if value less than 5 then the result will be 0 if it less than 10 or between 5 to 10 then it's gonna be 1 else it's gonna be 2 so let's see now we increase this to 5 to so between 5 and 10 it become 1 increase this again to become higher than 10 and now we get 2 and the next topic will be about for loop so we can have some array right for example you can use the range function to create a new array from 0 to 9 and then we can say for i colon value and this for loop would go through each of this value array and i would represent the current values let's have some sum equal 0 and then you say sum plus equal i and then return sum this is what we will get we just sum up from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 or we can change it let, let's use v instead maybe in this case do well v equal value v plus 10 and then let it return values now what we will do here again we just go through each of the number in the array and then we just add it by 10 actually we can just do this right v equal 10 now we can only do this if we have an array where the member is its own index because now we start with array from 0 to 9 but what if we have like some arbitrary array and we want to loop through and we want to have both values and the current index as well like for example now we have an array like this if we want to iterate it again we can do for i comma v and then the array now just by adding the comma here it will just mean that i will become the index and v will become the values so now we can do value i equal v times 2 and have it return values and now we will get just that right we add each of the member by 10 and then we time multiply by 2 so this is the basic of the for loop the next thing that you can use your expression for is for global variable here when you just go to your project inspector you will see this area called global variable we can open it and now we can create new global variable we can say color for example so we can give it a type in this case just give it colors and we can give it a subtype in this case just the default color and apply now we will have global color so we may have a node in the color value here we can do use expression and say color the autocomplete will show you that we have global variable called color so now we can just use that so when we change the global variable the color in that node will also change you can add more global variable this time make it an integer called I don't know, global value and now we can go to our expression and then call global value and then again do any kind of operation with it and now we have a global control over some of your node now the rule of global variable is that you can only get global variable here you type global value equal 10 it will not reflect to the global variable here and when you have another node that call global variable it will also not reflect so it doesn't set the global variable and the last topic will be about a direct access to a node values normally when you want to send value from one node to another right you can just connect it using the junction but you can also access the value from the node from the other node directly using expression as well so when you select or when you inspect a node you will see that you will have the node name here and then on the second line will be the node type and then the third line here is what we call internal name so by default, each node will have its own unique internal name. But when you change the name of the node, you will see that the internal name will now reflect the new name. And this internal name can be used in an expression to get the value from the node directly. So here, let's just remove expression and let's set this value to 5. And this node called expression with internal name of expression in the new number node. Let's go to use expression. And now we're going to use the internal name of that node. So we call it expression. So you can see here. It show up in the autocomplete with type of node then you use dot and now you can select to use input or output in this case we can use input and now you can see that we can have access to every value in the input of that node so the value that we want here just call value so we can say expression dot input 
dot value and it will now get the same value as the input here but one thing when you use expression is that sometimes the expression doesn't get updated in real time so it's better for you to do manual re refresh which is basically f5 so this is not a recommended way to get access to a node values if you just want a value from a node the, your best practice is to just use connection so that's the main idea of the expression in pixel composer so that's it for now thanks for watching and see you in the next one